This is my dog, Isla. She's my baby. So when I moved here a couple years ago to Sun City and I found out that there were coyotes here, I was naturally a little bit worried. What am I gonna do to protect my dog? I did some study online, found some ideas on how to protect our pets, and I wanted to share those with you. Coyotes, yes, they're here. And pet owners have stories about close encounters with them. We were, it was in the afternoon, and all of a sudden my mom looked down and said, Maggie, what's the matter? And she was sitting by my chair, and I looked down, I saw blood. And I said, Maggie, and she was just quivering, and I looked, and I could see blood, and I could see. And I realized there was probably a coyote. Well, she's fine, she's okay. Um, but she had puncture marks in her neck. You'll see them on the streets in Sun City, on the golf courses, and they often get a little too close to the private spaces of our homes and yards. Coyotes can be dangerous to us and our pets, especially at dusk and dawn when they are most active. According to the Arizona Game and Fish Department, coyotes are attracted to an area if they find food, water, or shelter. They recommend removing trash pet food, water sources, and bird feeders from outside your home. Feed your pets inside and don't leave them outside alone. Here are some ideas for ways to protect your yard and pets from coyotes. This is the Coyote Roller. It's a free spinning aluminum tube that's attached to the top of a fence. Coyotes can't get a grip on the top of the fence so they can't jump into the yard. Here's a video of how it works. This dog used to climb the fence and escape, but can't anymore. If you'd like to explore this option, you can get more information at coyoteroller.com. Here's another great idea. Build a kennel or outside enclosure with a roof. This is a little one put together for these two small dogs. They have direct access to the inside of the home and are protected from the coyotes outside. Here's another example of a full-size kennel or a run attached to a house. This one is taller. It's got a gate here that you can walk in and out. And um, it's got the, the ceiling. And it's got direct access to the house through a doggy door. This is a coyote vest. This is body armor made of sturdy Kevlar material. I got one of these for Isla. You fit it over the dog's back and neck area. On the outside, you can put these spikes on for added protection, which makes it harder for predators to grab onto your pet. To demonstrate how tough this material is, here's a video of a dog trying to bite through the material. After several minutes, you can see the fabric isn't torn. If you have found ways to protect your pets from coyotes, please tell us in the comments below this video. We can all help each other to keep our dogs and cats safe.